Speaking on NBC's Talk of the Nation program, James Newby said Namibia has made progress in the development of green hydrogen, which has proven to have positive potential for Namibia. At the moment, there's like eight other projects in Namibia yeah. being developed for this green industrialization agenda, which is why we're really moving away from just hydrogen to, and you know, let's mention some of those a bit. You know, there's a plant in Irongo that wants to produce hydrogen to make iron ore. And not in 2030, this year, right? There's 2024. 2024, in case we've um, <laughs> you know, December. In July, Dowris wants to start producing the first batch of ammonia and green tomatoes. I mean, my That's goodness. also what we heard this past week, right? July. On the yeah. 29th of April, I mean, it's fair to say we're getting a very high-level delegation from Belgium that will come in and, and launch the first hydrogen service station in Africa and fill, together with our head of state, the first kilogram of hydrogen in a truck. He added that they are developing the green industry blueprint, which will go to cabinet, and once it is approved, it will speak to the social equalities of Namibia. What I'm saying Correct. is in the event that, that a new party for no, argument comes to power. And so this is why this green industrialization blueprint is going to cabinet to become an official government strategy, will eventually have to go into party manifestos, but importantly, it has to become a Namibian-owned vision. So that even if, Irrespective. even if it's LPM that gets into power, this thing is being developed in the Karas region. They should be enthusiastic. If it's IPC, a lot of it is happening in the Rongo region. They should be enthusiastic. All of Namibia needs to be able to see themselves in this vision. He also revealed that they are in the process of carrying out environmental impact assessments to ensure that the hyphen project is environmentally sound. Meanwhile, the Deputy Executive Director in the Ministry of Industrialization and Trade revealed that they are in the process of drawing up legislation and regulatory framework regarding the safety and standard aspects of the green hydrogen industry. We are working very closely with our uh, partners from Germany, the Metrology Institute from Germany, the Standards Institute from Germany, as well as um, uh, to try to see how they can assist us, number one, to build capacity, because remember we're talking about skills, to see how we can really learn uh, with this uh, field visit, study visits uh, to the uh, partner countries, and then see how we can start developing that infrastructure. Despite the progress made, Nupe highlighted areas of concern. The biggest concern is skills. We, I don't think today Namibia has all of the skills necessary to do this. And so we need a very laser-focused and diagnostic analysis of what skills do we need, what can we provide over the next few years in terms of training, and importantly, what might we have to import Thank in you. order to build these new industries. I think, um, in all fairness, uh, we call a spade what it is. No, the spade is not there. Uh, I think it's Also on the part of your ministry. Yes, I think well. on the part of our ministry, I think just this sense of agency and urgency, I think we need to have this unity of vision where all of us, literally, you know, that pulling in the same direction, it, it needs to start manifesting. That's the only way. When we all have that one goal, that target, regardless of where we are coming from, that's where we are going. So I think, yes, so I think when James talked about skills, I would be very honest to say that I don't think, as a policymaker, I am equipped to deal with this level of complexity of, of an industry. Mm. I would need to be upskilled as well, as a policymaker. You know, so I think that is the level of skills that we are looking at. Indeed, a lot of room for improvement, um, especially when we look at our levels of inequality. I mm -hmm. think that uh, we really need to address that. And that's why it's important that even when we usher in new industries, what's important is how does this multiply to to, to those at the bottom of the food chain, if we can put it that way, and how do we create uh, a, 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 a mitigation around inequality? Because mm. that, is, that is really a pain, I think, for the country and a reality on the ground. We need to move faster. Juliana Foka, NBC News, Ventuk.